Chris, I swear to God, last time I saw you, that beard was not – you were sh- clean shaven. No, it's it, – we're not in a good place from the beard scenario, and I can't wait to get back into straight edge. I, I feel bad because I had – in my truck, I had the straight edge hat, and I could have put it on for our video, but I didn't because I'm a jerk. But I'm excited to go see Zach again. Well, I imagine for those who have, you know, you know, hair cut or beard trimming businesses, they, they don't want to claim clients right now because everybody, look at me, look at this. Like, this was, I'm liking it, Craig. I think that was that beautiful mop. (laughs) Bro, I was bald before it started. So I don't know. There's something to this. Well, then I hope that I go from, from landing pad to to (laughs) full head. I just got mine cut yesterday. You're looking good. And shout Thanks, out to man. Straight Edge, man. They did a great job. Always shout yeah, out to Yeah, definitely. Edge. No, no shit. They, they really uh, – I'll tell you what, Randall, Zach, Caleb, they hook a guy up. But we, we, what we said before the call was no selling. So, you know what? We didn't sell anything, but it is what it is, fellas. So, yeah, I, I, I think <laughs> that um, here we are, and, and, and check us out, just three dudes, social three distancing, dudes. and talking all things good. That's right. What can I real quick? Let's, uh, bef- you know, when we decided to do this, Colin, this was, this was your idea, but let's give credit where credit's due to it was Everly. Brain trust and say, yeah, <laughs> walk us through. I mean, the reason why we're doing this is so we can get out the gate is because, you know, about two weeks ago, we came together to do the flight and, and we won't go into the details because we'll get into that. But uh, you know, to obviously recognize and show appreciation to all those essential workers. So, you know, those people who are right now going back into work, those who were already going into work and obviously healthcare, first responders, everybody, but Colin, the idea that came from your daughter, can you walk us through that real quick? Cause I love the story. <clears throat> yeah. So we were, uh, do you want to just step by step exactly Every, how it went down? My new sh- well, yeah, because Everly's, uh, Everly's, you know, unique to herself. So we got to. Yeah, she you know. is. So Everly had, uh, <clears throat> she was, she actually, we were flying back from, I don't know, we were, went flying around, I think Creed or something, you know, down southeast. But on the way back, she fell asleep. And then we flew over our house and I said, well, there's our house. Well, that woke her up. So she looked down and first thing she said is, hey, I can see our chalk drawings on the driveway. Mm. And that's how, uh, so I kind of got a, an idea of, well, if you can see our driveway, you can see other people's driveway. We should try to fly around and see if people would post messages. Well, that's when I, we posted that on Facebook, Craig, about what if we did this? And, you know, all kinds of like-minded good people reach out and say, hey, how can we help? Gorman and the Herdat team stepped up and said, not only how can we help, but let's flip and do this thing, right? And, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. man, Gorman, what a... <clears throat> What a brave soul you are. You um, (laughs) said, let me strap up cameras and I'm in. And he's like, I've never flown in a private jet before. Well, guess what? (laughs) You still haven't. (laughs) Yeah, ain't a jet. (laughs) Still haven't broke the seal on that one yet. Yeah, I mean, we saw your post and I'm like, so we we took over management of the rail yard uh, last June. And anytime we can put something on that cube, uh, we try to do so. Like right now we're running community messages and anybody who's anybody could throw a community message on there and just say, Hey, you know, Hey, we're thinking about you, Lincoln. We're thinking about you, Nebraska. And when you guys put that up, I was like, Hey, of course, let's put, let's put a sign on the cube as you guys fly by. And then Colin just in true form is like, why don't you go up with us? Like, All right, <laughs> let's, let's do it. No, man, you jumped think- in. It was amazing. It, it was, man. And so Gorman and I actually have some history. He was our neighbor for when, I, when we first, let's see, we moved into that office in like 2011, 2012. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how we met Gorman. I think it was in the alley behind there. Yeah. You kept stealing our parking spots for Husker game days. Yeah. And, and you came out we, and instead of chewing <laughs> me out, you were just like, I've got orange cones. Yeah. We got soccer <laughs> cones and like it, it evolved from soccer cones to actual signs to actual signs with people's names on them. And Aaron Davis still didn't parking. care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron Davis would just <laughs> whip in there. Aaron Davis never cares. But it, too fast, too days furious days. style. Yeah. A, a, AD comes sliding in sideways, tosses the keys. <laughs> yeah. Right. Move it if you need <laughs> it, <Jack. laughs> yeah. So that's how you guys uh, met was back then. Yeah. I did and not know that. That's awesome. And then uh, it, it evolved to having some beers in the courtyard. Mm-hmm. 
having some beers at what, what was then Dugan's pub. And then remember the old pub down the street oh, yeah. where you'd literally go in and it didn't matter if you hit the toilet or not. Cause if you hit the floor, it still went through it. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 I'm not kidding you, Craig, there was holes in the floor by the toilet. So you, I, you have, you have mentioned that multiple times. And I'm like, every time the visual just, I, forget everything you say because I'm still <laughs> holding on to the visual you just gave me but the real thing is though the last time you guys met uh I heard stories uh about Gorman you jumping on a drum kit and banging out oh, yeah. some okay so tell so walk us through because I envision <laughs> like every okay the first time I met you was when we did the flight that's the first time yeah, I yeah. physically met you and like I had a vision in mind and then you roll up and I'm like Huh. I mean, not that it's different. I imagine people see me and they're like, huh. But like every time, every, every step of layer of information, I'm always intrigued more by you. I'm waiting for more. And so now that I found out you can drum, you banged out a drum solo. <laughs> well, like, you did. It, it really first started off though, because imagine, so let's set the stage here. <clears throat> the seediest bar in town on earth Sm ever, I think. Smells mm -hmm. like nothing but <laughs> booze and burnt up shame cigarettes. and shame booze and shame bad and i'm in there i'm in there 2 30 in the afternoon three o'clock in the afternoon because well as a startup owner about 1 32 o'clock in the afternoon you would have to get over there just to get through the day because it was like shit i'm not gonna make it right right <laughs> well, gorman walks in and we start talking about hey we should connect sometime <clears throat> and i looked at him and i was like well right now is sometime <laughs> so we start you know because that's when we had the whole conversation about pointless coffee and lunch meetings mm -hmm. right so we get caught up on likes and interests and there was this god remember that stage gorman it was like their light oh, yeah. setup was some some christmas lights <laughs> that, that were on a timer so it just flickered right <laughs> that was their light show enjoy it or not we don't care right uh and, I and said, it was carpeted too which is yeah you, weird. you have to do uh you know as a stage but for sound, that carpet, right, right. if that carpet could talk it would tell oh. us some terrible mm. stories terrible well some terrible some probably not so much but uh <laughs> anyway there was a drum kit up and we asked the uh oh the bartender's name was mole and i go hey mole can we go up and play the drums and he was like i don't give a shit <laughs> So I run up there and I'm like, yeah, Gorman, I used to play a few drums. Da, 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 I rat a tat, tat, tat. And he was like, yeah, you know, let me see. I'll give it a go. Dude gets up and just rips it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what in the just happened, right? <laughs> yeah. So that was the start of our uh, friendship and now has gone on to about eight years of just never will I miss a text from Gorman say, hey, let's grab a beer and I'll be like, I'm too busy, right? That's, that's, yeah. It's been a great time. Well, and same. I mean, we have, you know, we have a cool little community. And I think, um, I think Mylani is uh, probably largely responsible for like us becoming friends and, and knowing what you're doing. And I've always been interested in what, what you guys are doing. You know, there's just people that you want to keep in that circle. And you're like, hey, I know they're going to do cool stuff. They always have my back. Um, they'll show up to my launch parties and, you know, drink yep. my drink my free booze and eat my free food for <laughs> right. whatever launch I'm good that, for that. that they're doing. I'm good well, Chris, for that. Chris, I mean, <laughs> take us through like, you know, so you, I, I'll be honest, like when you stepped in, I remember Colin telling me, you know, Chris is going to be a part of this and you guys really catalyzed the effort from, you know, really obviously being the marketing pro that you are and that, that your team is, I mean, take us through, you know, your, you know, you guys helped a lot about getting the word out because half of what this was about was about just enough people knowing and understanding that it was going on so they could walk outside their doors on that, you know, that mm -hmm. hour window, you know, cause you guys right now as a marketing company, I mean, I got to imagine these are weird and unique times because, you know, obviously we're all separate, but we're also online all the time. Oh, so yeah. there's a unique space you find yourself in, you know, right now in, in, in our current you know, times. Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to find ways to, to stay valuable, either for our clients or our community or our friends or whoever. Um, you know, there's, <laughs> there's, there's dreamers and there's doers and everybody's got a, a percentage of, of that inside them. Um, I'd probably say I'm more dreamer than doer, but when you guys, uh, you know, dreamed this whole thing up, there is a percentage of doer where we're like, oh, we know how to do this. We can do this really well. 
like we already have the list of <clears throat> all the media people like we already have the social media outlets like we know how to make this happen like pretty quickly um so mm -hmm. taking it from hey you guys are dreaming it and obviously doing it with all the the plain stuff that i'll never understand um but <clears throat> being able to kind of like activate that team in a really like fast and efficient way like that's what we're really happy to do like anytime that we like volunteer or give back like we always try to like give back money and like we try to give back time um and be part of that community but we try to do it in a way that we're like really good and efficient at like if if we can come and like take photos or do social or like video or whatever like that's a really great way for us to give back because it's just more efficient from our side so it sounded like and again you know it, i love events i love covering events love doing social media and all of that's like effectively postponed for the yeah, summer right so right. when you tell me like hey we're gonna go up in a plane and we're gonna shoot social stuff like i'm all in like yeah. i will find ways to make that cool and we'll find ways to be a part of it and and help amplify it in any way that we can mm -hmm. and you did that <laughs> i mean flat out you did that <laughs> like you know i'm, it, I'm it ready to do it again like it, as soon as we cover an event or as soon as we do something we immediately want to do it again like right then like, hey, right. all right, I know what I need to do. Like, I know what lens I need. I know how to do this. Um, and I'm like, I, I, like, who is it in the yellow plane? Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin and Ronnie. Kevin. Like, Kev, like, Kevin and Ronnie had the spot, like, like outside the window, even though, like, it's a little, like, <laughs> yeah. jerky jerky. Like, that's, like, that's the spot. But, yeah, as soon as you guys want to go up again, I'm all in. And I know, like, I know how to do it. Colin. Um, walk, yeah. go ahead, buddy. What were you going to say? No, go ahead. I, want I was going to ask you, take us like, Chris brings up a good point. Like when, right when we got down, we're like, A, it's really hard to see people because you're flying mm -hmm. over. And, but the ultimate goal was to say thank you to people. And I think we, right. we, if there's one takeaway, even for a reason why we're shooting a podcast is so we could hammer home the fact that what we really wanted to do is say thank you. So Colin, walk me through like, what were your thoughts about going into it and your ability to like to us to effectively say thank you? And what did you learn? Like, just take, I'm, I've always, I haven't really even asked you this. Like, what was your takeaways from all this? Yeah. So that's an interesting question. Cause going into it, it's like everything else that we conjure up in our minds. You know, I envisioned, I envisioned, you know, Top Gun, F-14, <laughs> flying over the city, yeah. everybody cheering, yeah. da 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 thank everybody you. being able to say thank you. Thank right. You. Oh. <laughs> right. What happened was a Cessna 182 and everybody in the plane kept getting texts, no, fly over us again. And yeah. you'd go over them and no matter how slow we had the plane going, because remember I had that plane going, that slowed down to like 80, 90 knots. There was times that I thought, shit, this thing's just going to fall out of the sky. <laughs> And uh, oh, it was so that. hard to read the signs. Uh, and, 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 but I think my takeaway is at first I may have been a little disappointed because I didn't, we weren't able to see, like I got so many texts of dude, you flew right over us and heck we didn't even notice it. My takeaway is that it doesn't matter if we saw all the signs or not. The point is, is the community showed up and it was on everybody's mind that did show up of, hey, listen, mm -hmm. we're doing this to say thanks. You know, a lot of times you don't need to be seen to be heard. So yeah. just them giving their thoughts out to everybody. You know, you look at, especially in our community, not only do we have the healthcare, the first responders, the restaurant, but think about the ag community. They're still out planting their seeds. They're still out raising their hogs, their, their, their cattle. Those people are out there grinding away and, and just mm -hmm. us giving thoughts to them. So my takeaway is, what an awesome thing to do. And you could say, did it work? Did it not? I, I believe it, it, it was, it was great. And then my other, my other mm -hmm. favorite thing is when the media outlets put the stuff on their socials, I just love to see the haters. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. It was hazing. Cause uh, just Craig, Craig's exact deal to me was don't you dare get on and respond. And I was like, <laughs> I did. I was like please God, don't turn. Well, I, no, no, hope first and foremost, like nobody said anything n negative in nature. But it was something that we, it, it was frustrating because obviously knowing both of you and knowing what our intent was, which is truly, we just want to say thanks in our way. Like how, you know, like Chris, you brought it up, like we're, there's no social events that we can't go out and have an event to say right. this. We, it's, it's few and limited beyond resources. The resources that we have in our circle is what we tried to give, right? Like, okay, what can we do? How can we say thanks? So 
that, that I think we did what we could do and, 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 and we're still giving, I mean, there's other things we're doing mm -hmm. too. So Chris, mm -hmm. I want to ask you the same question though. What was your takeaway? What, what was kind of the thing you thought after you had a chance to, you know, go home and think on it for a little bit? Well, I thought there'd be more snacks on the plane. Uh, so I was, I was... <laughs> That's Colin's fault. Hey, sorry. <laughs> uh, it, 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 that's the first time I've ever been on a plane that size. Uh, so I, I was, it was, it was different than what I thought it was going to be. Like, I, I don't know, this might sound stupid, but it felt like a flying car. Like mm -hmm. it, it was a lot quicker. Like we were in the air a lot quicker than I thought we'd be. And we were down a lot quicker than I thought we would be. Um, and it was both moving really fast. Um, especially when you're on a camera with a long lens and you're trying to find stuff, but like also right, moving right. very, very slow. Uh, mm. So it was, it was interesting to see. <clears throat> I, I, I really liked um, seeing the people that came out uh, on both sides. Like one, we were able to see the people that were out. Like the baseball field was uh, one of my favorite ones. That's um, cool. the, the retirement home out in Hickman um, really struck a chord with me. Adams, uh, Adams Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah, Adams, yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, I got a, um, my mom lives in North Platte. Um, she's kind of by herself out there. Um, she's got a, obviously a great group of friends and whatever. But for those people that are can't have their families come visit them right now, um, due to uh, you know, it's just a really scary for uh, that older generation right now, and to be able to kind of get them out um, and have an activity for them that they could, you know, make the sign, like all gather together. And it could be a really cool social event. Um, that one was probably my favorite that we saw of the day. Um, like, and uh, almost matched to it is the first responders, like seeing them have the mm -hmm, police yeah. cars and the fire trucks out and them waving yeah. up. Like that, that was, was cool. really, really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it was, it was just a fun day. Like, so we got to see a lot of people. Um, we missed a lot of people. But the people that we yeah. missed, we saw on social media. Like, yeah. it was cool. Right. Like, our neighbor that lives across the street um, or across the alley, he didn't know I was going up with you guys. And I, I got home after we got done. I saw this huge chalk thing. In, and it was like a Grateful Dead themed one. <laughs> um, and it's in the alley. <clears throat> and I'm like, hey, did you make that for the flyover? He's like, yeah, they said they, said they were flying over from this time to this time. So I came out here and I made that. Uh, and I just thought it was cool. It was like, they, they said, they, that. So we heard, yeah, we yeah, heard yeah. from somewhere else besides, yeah. you know, yeah, uh, right. us three, we're always trying to like put our stuff out there and, you know, talk about the projects and things that we have on. So it's one thing that they hear it from us, but it's like, they, they said yeah. <laughs> that mm -hmm. it was going to be out here. And I just thought that was really cool that you heard from somewhere else and went out and decided to take an action and make it. Well, no, I, I was going to say that I think, it, you know, what it reminded me was that, you know, okay we're a small community compared to Chicago, but mm -hmm. we're still pretty big. In Nebraska terms, we're definitely big. Um, for mm -hmm. a community of our size, which is again, pretty big to, you know, granted, was it 100% of people? No. It was it 50% of people? No. Like, but for that many people to take the time to say thank you in the way that they could in the way that we offered during that moment, to me, it, it spoke, um, way more words and characters that you can fit on a sign or on a chalk. It, it was, mm -hmm. it was unreal how many people were thinking the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. That we're all like, okay, we're all kind of shut-ins at this point. And those that have to go out, you know, we, we want you to know, like, we are thinking about you. You, it, it's yeah. such a unique thing that we're shut in, we're removed from each other, but yet we're all really, really hyper intensely thinking about the same things, even though, you know, it's hard to figure out that we are. And that was, that was a moment when we could all like, you brought up the, the, the retirement home in Adams and we were flying over. I would, cause <laughs> Colin went into like, Colin, I, we went to, we went into, what was the, what's the fly thing we went to last year? The, the big Oshkosh. old flying. Oshkosh. 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 Gorman, I don't know if you know this, but like, you know, you need like fly shows, air shows, you know, like those mm -hmm. kind of things. Okay. Well, this is like the world's biggest one, like on steroids, on steroids, on steroids. I legit saw Colin go in the Oshkosh mode where he's like, all right, we're going to give him a show. <laughs> and I, for the first time in my life flying with this dude, I was legit not scared because I thought the same thing. Like here we are not thinking about this thing we're constantly thinking about and let's enjoy it. And they are enjoying it. And granted, that's why we're there. The, the reason is because of this, but like at the same time, like, no, for a moment, 
Colin was an F-22 pilot rocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to understand, Craig, if we, if we crash there, we crash right into the hospital. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, we're <laughs> great. They pull us out and they save us. We're good. They're like, hey, we got a spot for you. <laughs> yeah, glad to know where you're uh, we're gonna go that. ahead. And need, we're gonna go ahead and need uh, three physicians in room three A. Oh, they're there already. <laughs> oh, they're there. They were watching. They're there. They predicted uh, this. Uh, but because the cool thing is, is here these people are outside. You know, a lot of them weren't able to see their family and loved ones, so they weren't. Those family and loved ones still weren't able to come and hang out with them. Yeah, but they're all down there cheering for us. And how could we not fly over them and, and do some stuff, right? I mean, we had to. Uh, granted, yeah. it was a little hard to it was a little hard to get too creative because, well, we that plane was loaded down, man. We were four big dudes in that thing, and <laughs> you you had it rock and rolling though, man. It was impressive. Yeah, it was a good time. Well, and I'm I didn't know how steep the banks turned. Like we had, there's a couple times we filmed some episodes, and you know you we had to make changes or we do something we'd bank out hard. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. But there, we were doing like consistent loops all throughout the city. That was impressive. Yeah, that was that was it was definitely some of the most stressful flying we've done. Just because, again, <clears throat> I think the most stressful thing was looking at my phone and your phone and seeing oh. people just texting us, hey, fly back over. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, we did, we would like we, the, I, I thought the golf course was awesome. We flew around, oh, yeah. you, know, you know, those folks a lot. And uh, but when we were looking for that heart, the funniest <laughs> oh. thing is us, we spent 15 minutes in the air trying to circle and the whole time, the belly cam <laughs> was, was right over it. it. <laughs> All right, so we were right over it circling it so we couldn't see it out of the window where the hell is it it's like it was right under our belly the whole time yeah <laughs> yeah dude that's hilarious um i want to i don't want to transition out of what we're talking about but i also want to get into you know since then the we released the video so i think you know the the ultimate message is out there but um what's something you know chris what's something that you want to make sure people understand what's the one concrete message that you want people to understand from all of this? Man, you really put me on the spot with that one. Mm. That's, that's what I, good podcast, <laughs> podcast host does. <laughs> you know, it, it keeps, it keeps coming around to that. We're all in this together and we're all kind of going through this in our, in our own separate way. And that people aren't alone even though we have to be kind of distant from each other. And I think that's, I, I think I've seen that exact message on six different car commercials where it's like, <laughs> Hey, we're alone and we're going to be together soon, but buy this Acura. Uh, right. But it, it, you know, it is really true. Um, we have to find ways to be together during this time. Cause I, I don't think, I don't, I don't think we're, I don't think we're through this, even though, you know, Nebraska's kind of loosening up some things. Um, and, you know, baseball and softball are starting on, you know, June 1st with games on the 18th and, and all that. Um, we're having to find new ways to be there for each other right now because mm -hmm. the stuff isn't easy. Like when this first started, I'm like, oh, this is like one, two weeks tops. Like I set up like my cool little corner in our house and it's going to be fun because we got like cats around and we'll get cool snacks and we'll learn how to bake bread, which is way harder than it sounds worst. like. Horrible. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's awful. This is the worst hobby I've ever tried to pick up. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm babysitting this sourdough starter every night and it's not right. doing anything that I want it to do. It's the best relationship I've ever had. It's <laughs> building a sourdough starter. Yeah, I care about more than anything. Even my children. Yeah, but just trying, like, trying to be there for our friends and our family when we can't be there. And then, uh, you know, and when we get on the other side of this thing, like businesses and companies and and people are uh, are going to be remembered how they reacted during this thing. And ninety percent of people and companies and uh, and groups are handling this extremely well. Uh, mm -hmm. and they're putting out the right messaging and that's who you're going to choose to do business with on the other mm -hmm. side of this thing. And, but you know, there's this like 10% out there that seem to be handling this like pretty poorly. Um, so as we're going through all this, like, you know, how do we be there for each other? And then remember who, uh, who aligned with mm -hmm. the values that you align with at the end of this thing and remember them after we're through.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Colin, same question. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I don't remember the exact question, but like what's you one said, thing that you want to make sure that after all this, because again, efforts have a way of getting, you know, like they get lost in what the true message is, but what, what is it for you? I want to make sure everybody understands. Yeah, so once we get through this, which we will, um, there's, you know, there's, there's an old quote, and I think actually it's, it's a local quote from Tom Osborne that he said, uh, nothing's ever as good as it seems the good news is nothing's ever as bad as it seems. Mm. So I think, I mean, we're going to get through this and then what's next, what's going to be the mm -hmm. next thing that, that, you know, that, that we go through. I echo, I echo Chris's thoughts about remembering companies, remembering people that are doing good by this. And it, it, you know, it reminds me of that commercial yesterday that Silverhawk launched. Did you guys see that commercial? Mm -hmm. I saw that. Yeah. It was great. Oh, Incredible. Oh my gosh. What a great, and so my post was support, not only support lo local, but support loyal. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I, you know, Craig, I don't know what life is going to be like after this. I think this is going to be a memory. And as you guys know, five years, 10 years happens at the, at the snap of a finger <clears throat> and we're going to mm -hmm. be battling whatever's next. Uh, but we're all in this together. Unfortunately, I think we're fighting an enemy we can't see. And uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the suckiest, scariest part about this, but yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and if ever, if, if I remember anything through this, <clears throat> it's, it, it's going to be that meetings will forever be changed mm -hmm. and, yeah. and get to get like, like at the beginning of this, when we were like, wait, am I hosting? Wait, is my audio on? Hey, can you see me? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I can't record. That's yeah. the best way to break ice in a meeting because otherwise you're just kind of sitting there. So uh, how's the family? Yeah, t mm -hmm. the worst. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to. What about you, Craig? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I wanted to make sure I mentioned, you know, my mother is uh, one of those healthcare workers frontline. She's a respiratory therapist, nurse, 30 plus years working in a hospital here in Nebraska. Got a call three days ago uh, from her sounding you know, when you get a call from, when your mom, when, you know, when the word says mom on your phone, you get really nervous. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she said, I for sure treated someone who, you know, was, you know, we've had a lot of thought we were positive, but now we're there and this person was blah, blah, blah. And so she wanted to tell me, you know, for effectively, you know, I'm quarantining your dad's quarantining. just want to let you know. And, uh, you know, she's twice survived cancer. Um, um, you know, gone through, obviously trials and tribulations we all do so her being in the front lines to me seems like can we find someone else and i asked her can you find someone else can we can you take a break <laughs> can you go mm -hmm. on vacation for a while and her response was where else would i want to be and right. i thought to myself man there's so many people in my immediate lives we all have them everybody listens to us you all you got someone if you, or maybe it's you that that during this uh, i'm reminded of you know september 11th and the response of some, they're running away because you had to, you had to protect mm -hmm. yourself and those that were running too. Mm -hmm. um, you want to talk about the businesses that I'm seeing distance themselves. I agree with that. Um, but at the same time, I'm seeing the difference in humans. Mm -hmm. Those that are choosing to run too, and those that are choosing to run away. And what right. I, I, I don't think I'm going to treat people differently because of this, because I, you know, we always have a right to choose to treat whoever we want to, however we want to. But I, I am taking note of people who are choosing to run to in whatever form mm -hmm. you can, right? Like they're say, thanks uh, via sign, give money. If you can um, frequent the businesses, I have ate out more in my life. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel, you know, cause I, and I, I support local, nothing against chains, but again, I'm trying to support the people who I know have created homes here and, and are doing business here uh, like we are all. So that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do want to talk about that though, too. A good friend of ours, Colin and I, uh, has a restaurant here locally, a, a bar restaurant. And he got on uh, a thing that all her dad created. And it was intriguing to me because you guys created, uh, Chris, a, a tool that allows you to kind of like hyper. So it's like Google inside of Google. I, I was intrigued <laughs> because I thought immediately like how, how businesses separate themselves now in terms of the message that they give. I, I have never thought local is more important than now because I want to support those mm -hmm. that have a home here, but real quick, uh, you know, like how are you seeing businesses differentiate themselves? What are you seeing from the marketing side of things that uh, are allowing 
companies that are local kind of say, Hey, we, our kids go to the same school as you. I go to the same hospital as you, you know, like, mm -hmm. how are you seeing that on your end? Yeah. So, uh, everybody's had to change what their marketing message is, not only just from like voice and tone, but how they engage with, um, with their either like fans or customers, uh, like two people that are like doing it really well. I think, um, Omaha storm chasers are putting on a master class. Dude, Marty Cardero. Unreal. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of that guy. So they, you know, the season's uncertain um, when, when they'll be able to come back right now. Um, and minor league baseball is such, <clears throat> you know, the cities have a love affair with their minor league team and none more than Omaha Storm Chasers. Um, and I've really been impressed with what they've been doing. Um, and immediately too, like first they're like, all right, we're playing MLB the show versus one of our opponents that we would have been playing this weekend. So mm -hmm. it's that's Storm awesome. Chasers versus the Nashville Sounds on MLB the show. Um, that's really cool. They've, um, they've been doing these free fireworks shows uh, where people can come in. Uh, they can you have to stay in your car. Um, it's like a 12 minute show. You come in, um, watch the fireworks show. And <clears throat> it's been a way for them to stay engaged with, uh, with their fans. And it's such a, and they had 25,000 people show up for the first one. It's so crazy. What? Oh my God. Yeah. For yeah, just a free fireworks show. And they're giving people a piece of, uh, Warner Park and Omaha Storm Chasers and Union Omaha, they're giving a piece of that to their fans in the form of these to-go meals. Like the first one they did was like four hot dogs and nachos and Shut soda. Up. And That's they're, a great they're idea. doing another one. <clears throat> I think this next one, like they're they're giving away it's something like there's a handful of hats, like Storm Chasers hats that are going to be in the uh, in the bags. Um, so trying uh, like that's how they're connecting with their fans and how they're staying relevant. And again, when we talk about remembering, um, when storm chasers get back up and rolling, people are going to remember that, Hey, they were here for us. They gave us this fireworks show. They were providing snacks that we loved from the ballpark. Um, they were giving us content, uh, every week in the form of being able to watch either like, you know, the all-star game or them winning a national championship, like mm -hmm. whatever. Um, you know, another business they're having to change their strategy to uh, work with Elkhorn Training Camp up in Omaha. And at, at every day they are posting something, whether that's in the form of some kind of workout tip or if they're teaching live classes, which everybody has done. Like right, right. everybody has moved to providing some kind of fitness assistance. Um, but Elkhorn Training Camp, I think, has just done a, a, an incredible job of continuing to provide value. Uh, to their clients and customers and you know they're you know especially with baseball and softball coming back they're 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 going to be remembered for how they react yeah. during this time um, mm -hmm. the thing that we created when we go back to talking about how do we help in a way that feels natural and efficient for us um, we've been working on this product called local search fuel for yeah. uh, you know a year or two now like we provide local search services for our clients we are really trying to find a way that we can get it out to more people and do it on, you know, a, a regional and a national level, uh, kind of like <laughs> it's a weird parallel, but like Michael Jordan's last dance, the documentary wasn't Love supposed it. to be out. Love it's incredible. Still, yeah. It wasn't That's supposed still. to be out until I think later this year or early like 2021. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So they saw, they saw a need mm -hmm. for that documentary to be out right now. Um, and you kind of compare that to this local search fuel that we've been working on. Mm -hmm. It wasn't supposed to be out until later this year. We knew that it needed to be out right now. So we fast tracked it and got it up and rolling. And now we're, we rolled it out to everybody and it, and we wanted to do it in a cool way. Like I get sales emails every day and people have to keep selling. They obviously yes. they have to keep selling right. for their stuff. Um, but I, I haven't always loved the messaging behind their sales stuff where it's like, Hey, sign up with us now. Um, we're just going to hold your billing until this is over. And then, and then we'll bill you, which mm -hmm. is, you know, obviously really great. It's good for them. But then it's like, all right, the small business is going to get, you know, four to six months of billing that's going to be due as soon as this is over, as they're trying to pick up pieces and put their lives back together. Um, so as we rolled out this product, um, we did it. It's, it's free for 90 days. It's not a credit card. It's not a weird, like, uh, it's not a weird auto renewal where we throw you into something that's going to start billing. It's like, Hey, try it for 90 days. If you'd like it. Awesome. Um, we'll figure out what that is going forward. It's $125 a month. So if you found value in it, great. Um, 
if it did what you needed it to do and it got you through this tough time, uh, great. We'll release everything. You get keys to the castle. Everything is yours to keep. Um, cause there's a lot, there's just a lot of SEO products out there that yeah. like mm -hmm. you sign up for them and then it's like, all right, if you stop paying us, we're going to torch everything. <laughs> all right, and, right. You will never, you'll never find your business again. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's, it's a local search product, um, that's designed to help businesses compete. Um, when you're searching for whatever it is, you know, like best pizza in Lincoln or, you know, best tacos, which I would say is muchachos, um, which like, as Nick we is, talk about, Nick is the man. It, it, Nick's the man and like I moved into a house. I used to live right next to you guys. And as soon as I leave, everything cool comes down there. So he'll be opening up his location <laughs> here right. in, I think a couple weeks. Um, Where but is it's, that it's a way of chachos? It's a uh, truck uh, method. No, no, no. Method. Uh right next to you guys. Oh, that's oh, right. Really? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, Joe. That's well, there the you first go. place we're going. That's the well, like I'll give a shout out to Adam Dodworth, uh, and uh the copper kettle they are getting mm -hmm. ready to open up a new location and they're like how dumb are we we're switching locations <laughs> and we're we're essentially they're changing some of the format because they're going to offer more food i mean nick adam's always been i mean adam's going to be a, a guest on old green plain in an episode we're doing mm -hmm. here getting ready to shoot under these times we're going out in the middle of nowhere cool um and um he, they're they're rethinking through why the hell do we choose to do this right now and they, they use your guys as the local search fuel to help kind of mm -hmm. catalyze that change because they're they're scared about that that question. How, I mean, you know their name, Copper Kettle's been around for three plus years. They're like, wait, mm -hmm. we're changing during this? That makes that doesn't make much sense. And he's nervous and they're worried. You know, him and his wife, Mackenzie, um, they're all, you know, they're trying to think through that. And it's 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 helpful what you guys are doing. But it's I the think, best thing you can be doing right now. Yep. Exactly. And and because I drove down O Street yesterday. And there's a new establishment that uh, is, has been under construction for a while. And I, I, I got to thinking about that. If you go get your business loan and you're pushed behind on something, well, guess what? No one else has clients right now anyway. So oh, yeah. good point. You know, make it right. Make it right so that when, when we do get through this, mm -hmm. uh, it's just that much better of an experience for, for your patrons. So, uh, you know, as I applaud these business owners, I also applaud our local banks. Holy mm -hmm. cow, man. Dude. Union Bank, Frontier Bank, <clears throat> NBC, you know, all these local banks that are stepping up and saying, hey, <laughs> we got you. Take your time. There's nothing anybody right. can do about it. Um, you know, Union Bank, I think, they, they, I don't think, I know, they were in uh, um, a couple national publications because of how they've handled their response yeah. to this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. New York Times I mean, on the front back page, up uh, back the truck Stephanie up man. yeah yeah <laughs> Stephanie Dinger and, and 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 personally I know Jake Muleheisen you know yeah mm -hmm. stellar dude right away you know jumps on a text before we even closed our office down and he was like I'm not sure what's about to happen but just know whatever it is we're not going anywhere we got your back yeah dude thanks Jake. Awesome. I mean that gave yeah. me the that gave me the need to you know not have to sit in the bar and wait for uh, Gorman at 2.30 in the afternoon <laughs> and, and stress drink myself. <laughs> and you're waiting for drum solos. Where else right. is a guy supposed to be? I oh, mean, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm, take, I'm blown away by, some, like I said, you know, those that run too and those that aren't. And again, I don't fault anyone who's scared and is wants to wait, you know, but again, you're seeing the differences in the business that are, hey, we got to do something because, you know, then there's a paradigm shift here. We're not going back to normal as we knew it, right? That that's forever gone. Um, mm -hmm. And, and it's sad, but at the same time, like, well, we'll see those who are changing. I mean, you know, give a plug to Colin and I, like with all green playing, we're thinking through like, okay, we're, how do we do it? You know, how are we doing this now? Like we used to go to places and, you know, social, I mean, we went to Sturgis, we're getting ready to launch an episode um, any day now, or depending on when this launches, um, with, uh, you know, Madeline Rogers, Lori Rogers, and Liv Rogers, who Madeline is going through cystic, has cystic fibrosis. And we shot it during, um, it's her whole life. yes, that's her whole life. We shot it during, uh, what's the Colin, the Sturgis. 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 Can you yeah. imagine doing Sturgis right now? <laughs> like that would be nuts. Oh dude. So, yeah. but Craig, you know, I want to interrupt you for a second because please you talk about those that run to and those that run from. We all have circumstances and things that come up that we can run to, right? Right. Imagine if this was a, because I look at it as 
that should be human code. Stand up and fight for those that can't. Right. That, that should be human code. Yeah. And there might be the next thing that our country faces might be something that first responders and, and everybody that we've been thanking, they can't fix. And right. it might be the tech side of things that has to fight, you know, technology viruses that come mm. in. Yeah. Right. And so I think that, you know, when I look at those that run to and from, I don't look different on those that are, you know, completely hiding themselves out and shunning. No, God, no. I don't That's look at I look at it as no. when, when a circumstance arises that you're strong where I'm weak, by God, I hope you step up. Right? I think yeah. that should be human code. Um, yeah. And, you know, obviously but I believe in that. You know, I think, I can't tell you how many Kenevas have served during our military and I've got a son that's, you know, getting ready to battle right on the front lines, right in the depths of it. And people say, man, aren't you afraid? I'm just as afraid of my daughter driving down highway two. I mean, every day <laughs> life right. is dangerous in, in the United States of America. It just is. Yeah. Um, but I just, I, my, my biggest prayer is that people stand up where it, it, and, and fight for those that can't or the, the, that, that you know, they don't have that ability. Um, right. So anyway, sorry about the soapbox. No, I'm not. no, <laughs> well, no, but that's like, that was my, that is essentially my point. I don't, again, yeah. if you guys stay at home I, or we, I've, I've chosen, <laughs> Hey, I'm just removing, we all are. Look at us. But no, you, so, you know me, Craig, I've been, I people got a cat probably look at me, it's like, <clears throat> no one sees my cat stuff. You know? <laughs> oh, hey, Craig, I don't mean, lie. You perch on that thing at night and pretend you're Batman. I was going to say, I don't own a cat. <laughs> <laughs> not a cat to be found in this mug this is for me to hang out in this weird time right now you gotta you gotta pass time what else are you gonna do um but that's the no, cat post bro but like i i can't run to so right i i, I can't so when my mom says where else do i want to be it makes it's i'm so fucking thankful for those that can and that do i'm so right. thankful for those business owners that are deciding hey if you can't be open because I, that's great. You know, I don't no knock on you. If you, it's just, if you can and you want to, and you, you do, I'm really impressed by that. And Cause again, I I'm, I'm amazed by those that run too. I no, no knock on them that don't um, real quick before we, we wrap up Gorman, man, what, what is, I got to ask, cause I just, I want to know what is Scott Frost. Okay. Cause you're, you guys, you also uh, in, in involved with hail varsity, right? Mm -hmm. Right. What is Scott Frost thinking right now? Like, how do you, as the head coach of a major college football program, getting ready to motivate? Because right now, I mean, you're thinking kids are getting done with school. They'd be done, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to summer training. What is it? Are you hearing anything? Or are you seeing anything from his reaction? How do you – because I want to talk about football for a second because, you know, like – He's sitting right now. He's sitting looking out at his window on a rainy day, and he's thinking, how come they've never asked me to get an old green plane? But yeah, well, hey, Scott, if you're listening. And, uh, but he what is. Are, but he, he is because you're on you're gonna be but i mean how are you prepping how do you think a college major college football coach is prepping for this right now it's the, the good news is that it's early uh and we don't have anything until um until fall um but everything is harder right now um you know we have a we have a podcast that that we do marketing for in new york and they needed a uh, they needed a little <clears throat> audio um, attachment that you can normally just go to Best Buy and pick up. Uh, you can't can't do that, like especially in New York. Like everything yeah. is harder right now. Um, so from recruiting, from making sure that the athletes are uh, staying prepared, like that's the that's the hardest thing is because normally you have these practices, you have these spring games, and you can check in and say like, all right, hey, we're making progress. We were here, now we're here. Uh, and we can work on these things. Right. Um, and then also recruiting. Like most time they'd be in uh, old green plane, flying around, jumping around this country, yeah. visiting recruits, hanging out in their living rooms, uh, telling them why Nebraska is the best place for them to be. Uh, so right now it's just, everything's tough. And, and, and Frost was on sports nightly earlier this week and, and he was echoing the same thing. It's just a, hey, we don't, we don't know what this is going to look like, but we have to be cautious of, <clears throat> what um what's going to be safest for our athletes and mm. I, I think this season is going to be really interesting to to watch where it is and see how we react as we're looking at sports um you have 
uh, you have the UFC that yeah. is marching on right, right. now. Um, and no and fans, agree with right? it. No, yeah. So no fans. Um, they've actually instituted, um, you know, whether you, you love or hate the UFC or love or hate Dana White, um, they've been pretty cautious on how they've done this. Um, and we have a lot of fighter friends and they're all like, yeah, we're concerned, but we are ready to fight. Um, if we get called. So there was an event on Saturday. There's one, uh, there was one last night and it was two mm -hmm. Nebraska kids that were yeah. on, on the main card, you know, Anthony Smith who, and, who and was Ober. Yeah. Is no, Anthony really? Lionheart Smith. Um, yep. He was a headliner and it was supposed to be the card that was in Lincoln. That was at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Um, oh, and wow. then Drew Dober. So you have two Nebraska kids that flew down to Florida, um, but they instituted, they were doing temperature checks every day and you had to do your temperature check to get a credential for the day um, and they were doing they were doing COVID-19 testing on site and I think they had two to three of those that they were doing um, uh, you know throughout their when they when they arrived for media day and weigh-ins and all that so back to football how do you institute some of these things that um, sports are trying out right now and how do you uh, how do you institute those on a much larger level where there's so much close contact yeah and what is this going to look like in the fall so it's like fighting is, is happening right now. Um, golf is happening, uh, but you don't have to share any equipment right now. Football mm -hmm. is so close quarters and it's so big. So you have your team, you have mm -hmm. like your trainers, your coaches, you have media. Uh, it's, it's just going to be really interesting to see what happens in the fall and the progress that we make on, you know, finding a vaccine or getting this under control mm -hmm. um, by then. But we're, we're really hopeful that there's a season I mean, I think your, your two extremes are, and this is kind of what, what we've said is like the two extremes are one full fans, full schedule, everything goes on as normal. And then two on the other end of that is canceled season. We're somewhere in the yeah. middle yeah. of that. Um, and that's kind of what, what we're, we're anticipating or what we're planning on right now. It's a weird time, man. It's a weird time. It is a yeah. weird time. At least to watch it. I've been watching Korean baseball league. That gives you and, and horse it's incredible. Racing. So yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's my life. Yeah. I watched uh, the cornhole championships the other night. Well, you watched that anyways. <laughs> yeah. And, and, but <clears throat> there's also an ax throwing championship. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm going to tell you, dude, these, I'm telling you, these guys can throw an ax. It's like, Ooh, <laughs> he hit the, he hit the center left and oh look at the strategy that Dave's about to. And Dave like is built like me and sets his, PBR down. Like, oh my gosh, Dave comes with an interesting defender move. It's like, wait, you guys are that <laughs> thank you, not freaking not. Yeah, that, oh, that was an interesting defense play right there. I don't know Ooh. how he forethought to hit that center circle. <laughs> well, it just, it, it, it's all these different points for how close you are to the edge. Da, da, da. It's a fascinating, fascinating, because it's basically we are now watching two dudes hang out and throw axes. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. If they it's just literally what it is. If they just filmed the night Gorman and I jumped on the trap set, it was just like, okay, now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. interesting. Now Gorman <laughs> grabs the sticks. <laughs> be oh, dude. I saw, uh, I don't know. I think he was a British um, BBC like sports commentator and he was commentating his dogs wrestle for a bone. And it was hilarious. <laughs> I died. So good. I died. I was like, Hey, I will say this the internet has been our savior. Literally. I don't get to see you guys without it. So, um, with yeah, that, yeah, that this happened 20 years ago, if this would have happened screwed. Yeah. Well, yeah. I dis Okay. So I, I disagree oh, a little no. bit because I think internet is so integra internet will always win regardless. It's going to come out the champion here. If we don't have internet and there's not so many flipping experts out there, I don't believe mm. we're as scared as we are. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. That's good. That's a good, that's also a good point um yeah it's a weird time man lots of voices and we we added three of them today gosh chris man thank you so much for jumping on with us thank you Appreciate guys it. Um, well and thank you guys for for i i like people that make stuff um and that's like my my two biggest things is like i just want to do cool stuff with cool people um and mm -hmm. being able to go up in a plane and say thank you to our healthcare workers our first responders our nurses our doctors um everybody out there that is making a positive impact during this time that's a really cool thing to make with really cool people. Uh, so I appreciate you letting me be a part of that. Um, and hope we can do it again soon. Cause that thing yeah, is absolutely. awesome. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate what you guys are making. 
Oh man. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Man. It was a blast flying with you and we definitely mm -hmm. will do it again. Bring that little camera you had again. That was the most impressive piece of technology. I love that. Hey, thing. get your own. Come on, oh, yeah. you won't. You won't. If you have it. a toy, you have a toy. Let me play with it. Hey, uh, never mind. With that, we'll say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you guys. <laughs> well, all right.